there are some essential bits of kit that a cyclist really needs. So in this video, we're gonna list 10 essential items that every cyclist should own. Let's do it. Now this one might sound obvious and it might sound expensive, but your bike doesn't have to have electronic gears. It doesn't have to be shiny. It doesn't have to be the best, the newest, the most amazing bike ever. But your bike does have to want to make you go out and ride it. And if it doesn't, do something about it. Give yourself some new handlebar tape, give your bike a good deep clean, a polish, or maybe add some new wheels. It needs to give you that feeling, you know. It needs to be special to you. Now the next thing I would highly recommend you buy and wear is some padded bib shorts. And don't make the mistake of wearing underwear underneath them because you actually don't need to. Not compulsory this time. No, I definitely think these are an essential item. For me personally, I wear cycling shorts for anything over a ride to the pub. Just because loose baggy shorts get chafage, it's not that comfortable and I find I enjoy my bike rides way more if I am wearing a proper pair of cycling shorts. Of course you don't have to, these aren't the rules, but no. if you are wearing casual clothes like trousers for a ride, make sure they're nice and slim tucked in so they don't catch in the chain mm. when you're riding. But you want to protect your sip bones, don't you? You need a bit of padding. That's the, that's yeah. the truth of it. Nice bit of cushion. Oh yeah. Yes, even if you have a tubeless tyre, you still need to carry one. A standard one will do, or maybe if you want to get a fancy light one, you can do that. Just make sure they are the right size tyre for your wheel, and the valve is long enough for your wheel as well. Yep, I've been caught out by that one. Wrong size valve, stuck at the side of the road, fixing a puncture, and you can't get it out. You can't pump it up. It's so Absolute annoying. nightmare, and then that's it. What else can you do? Of course, you can fix your inner tubes, keep them going for longer, well which done, I have Connor. done. Brownie and make points. The most waste not, want not. Solid inner tube, definitely an essential item. There's little point carrying an inner tube if you can't pump it up once you've fixed your puncture and got it back on your wheel. So a little mini pump is an essential item, of course, when you're out on your rides or CO2 gas canisters with a good pump attached. A bit more compact, these. Also, thumbs are great for getting the tire back on, but you yeah. do need levers. I go for the thumbs, but sometimes I you get caught out, so you definitely need a bit of tyre levers in your emergency bag. My thumbs definitely are strong enough to get that tyre back on. Yeah, there is, there is a tactic, but sometimes you do fall short, especially when it's cold. Oh it's yes, painful. no. You're also going to want a multi-tool. Now this needs to pretty much fix everything apart from a puncture, from a rattly bottle cage to a broken chain. But when you're buying one, make sure all the different Allen keys actually fit the bolts on your bike, otherwise it's going to be pretty useless. Now many riders like to head out of the door with their essential items put into their pockets of their jersey or their jacket, which is fine, but on this list, I am putting a bar bag, saddle bag, top tube bag, wherever you want to put it, but a bag, because it is so handy just to carry all those essential bits and bobs that you need to take with you on your ride. It takes the weight off your back, meaning your bike can carry it instead. Bar bag's made the cut, Sai's not gonna be happy about it. He isn't a fan of the bar bag. I love it, everything's there, easy to access for when you need it. So, dare I say it, bar bag, essential item. The next essential item we think every cyclist needs is of course a rain cape. You want to be able to enjoy riding your bike in all the conditions. You don't want to be limited to just the summertime because, well, if we only rode our, sun, our bikes here in the sun in the UK, we wouldn't get to ride very much we because it rains a lot. So Connor, there you go, get that on and Cheers, you can go riding yeah. out in the rain because well, it's that, definitely forecast to rain soon. It is a bit stopped now, that's why a nice light one's good, pack in the pocket. Yeah. Put it in any eventuality, off you go if it rains. Yeah, and even if you get a little bit cold after you stopped at the cafe, always good to put a rain cape on. Keeps the it's heat nice in. and toasty. Right, nice one. See you in a bit, man. Um. Next up, bike cleaning kit. Now, this could be as simple as some old sponges and some fairy liquid, or you could go for some more specific bike cleaning products and brushes like these. And the small ones are actually really good for getting in those nuts and crannies, or you could use an old toothbrush. Yeah, and it can be a good idea to get a dedicated degreaser and multi-purpose cleaning solution for your bike that you can use with your brushes and get it in a bit of a kit that you can always rely on after each ride. Something essential and basic like this that you can always keep your bike in fresh working order and not be putting off that chore. Actually look forward to cleaning your bike because it can be a really enjoyable task once you, once you have the tools needed for the job. Yeah, no excuses then. Oh. Track pump, definitely an essential item. Of course, you can use your mini pump to pump up your tires and get the right pressure, but it's quite a bit more time consuming due to the size and the, uh, the time it takes. So a track pump, no matter how basic or, or posh, definitely something you're gonna wanna have in your arsenal. 
perfect. Right, let's hit the road, man. Up. Now, I was quite hesitant about putting this item on the list, but I think it deserves its place. I've gone without it in the past, and it just makes those day-to-day -day jobs you need to do on your bike so much harder. Once you take the plunge and get one of these, everything becomes way easier. You can put your bike in securely, take the wheels off, you can tinker about where you need to, and bike jobs become enjoyable rather than getting, getting frustrated when your bike's always moving around, trying to adjust things. I have to agree with this, Connor, but I, do you remember a while back, I actually made my very own bike stand out of scratch. So you don't have to buy one if you don't want them, you can make one with stuff you have at home. That is very true. There's obviously varying kind of um, prices you can go for with a work stand from cheap to expensive or the DIY version and there's something out there for everyone. If you can, do it yourself. Now we might be a little bit biased on this next one, but if you love cycling, you need a GCN Plus subscription to watch all the fantastic racing and documentaries all in one place. The race is live, on demand, so much on offer. It's got to be essential. I mean, I think I use it pretty much every single week to watch whatever racing's on, basically. There you go. So it is going on the list. But yep. let us know down in the comment section below if there's any other essential items we may have missed in this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Good cycling buddies. That's another one. That is an yeah, essential that's item, a good yeah. One, isn't it? Because cycling is better when shared. Yes, exactly. Come on, sharing then, is caring. Let's go and Let's get go a coffee. Ride our bikes. Coffee, that's an essential item. Cake, that's way. another one. <laughs>